Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, a nice little short video this time. So when I went into Windows here, I tried to open Cubase LE AI Elements Tim Pine 5, which I have for doing my audio editing. And it's connected to this E licensing control center. And for some reason, after the holidays there, I clicked on it and it wouldn't open. And I got this little black box up here saying, unable to find the eSoft licensing. So when you install Cubase LEAI elements, it connects up to this e-licensing control center, which gives you the license, the license to use the program. The program knows that this e-license is here and that it's up to date. I think the reason that this happens is because Windows, Microsoft Windows is updating. What I did was I clicked on the e-licensing control center and then in here you can see that you've got um, your licensing. Now, I have it fixed, but when this wasn't working, there was a yellow triangle here over the uh, hard drive, which holds the license. And the license number here was deactivated and it was in the color red. The Cubase LE and WaveLab LE tin I have running on this machine. So I ran the maintenance here, which is the online synchronization and maintenance program. So I performed the maintenance tasks in order to try and repair the problem. So when it was running through here, it threw up two errors. So when I got the report here at the end, it goes from step one to step six, and it completes, it completes step one to step four, and it failed on step five and step six. So recovering the license transactions and sending the e-license information didn't work. So when I came out of here and I tried to open up my Cubase LE, it wouldn't open. So I had to think for a while, scratch my head a bit, and then um, what you have to do is you have to right click on the e-license control center and run the program as administrator. So when you do that, you get up this little box here, use control account, ellc.exe, and you click on yes, and then it will bring you back into where you are. And then you run the online synchronization and maintenance program again. So you perform maintenance tasks. I'm trying to be as quick as I can here. And it'll run through and hopefully. And we will just test now and see. So then it ran through and it fixed all my uh, things. So I got an OK on the six steps here. So then you close this off and you close that off. And then when I clicked on my Cubase LEAI Elements Tim Pine 5, it opened up and everything was good. So piano vocals create, so we can create a project here. Just say OK. So there we have it, Cubase LE working. So I hope this will be helpful to somebody out there. You might get some value from this. And if you do, give me a like there down on the bottom. Uh, so thank you.